Our final learning target is learning target four. We can see the reading right here. We're looking at using evidence to determine the location of tectonic plate boundaries. And here, our evidences are going to be the earthquakes and volcanoes that we see all across the globe. So I have our notes pulled up here because we gave you these two earthquake and volcano maps on the bottom of your notes here between Convergent and Transform. And we were hoping that you would recognize the patterns emerging for both volcanoes and earthquakes at and around the plate boundaries. So I think a really distinct area to look at is at first this one right here. So this outer edge of the Pacific plate boundary, um, on the bottom here we're looking at the volcano map, and we're seeing it's pretty active at and around that plate boundary line, right? I don't have a ton of stuff happening in here. Um, I do have one little section in the middle, bonus points if you can think of what that might be. But when we look at that same area on our earthquake map up here, I'm noticing again, it's very active and just a slight bit of activity in the middle. So really big picture what we're thinking about over here for learning target four is how do the locations of the earthquakes and the volcanoes really accentuate those plate boundaries, right? I'm seeing lots of activity at and around the plate boundaries, both divergent, mid-ocean ridges, and convergent with subduction and a lot of activity. I'm seeing the earthquakes and volcanoes happen at those boundaries, the spot where the two plates meet. So when we work our learning target four here, this is really what I'd like us to do, is just focus on those two words, earthquakes and volcanoes. That's all I want us to use. And what we want to state is that those plate boundaries, or essentially the edges of tectonic plates, are the most active when we see those features or evidences for earthquakes and volcanoes. I'm going to say most active areas for earthquakes. I'm going to abbreviate here and volcanoes. Again, every once in a while we see an earthquake or a volcano not in close proximity to a plate boundary, but it's very rare. Right? If I pull back up our diagram, you know, if we think about us, Minnesota, our location is right around in here. We are very low for earthquake activity. We are not near the edge of a plate boundary, therefore we have little to no earthquake activity, like a lot of the places in the middle of the tectonic boundary. Same thing here for volcanoes, here we are little to no volcanic activity because we're not near the plate boundary or essentially the edge. And again, the same for other boundaries. So number four was just getting us to recognize that the boundaries are the most active places for earthquakes and volcanoes, and they really point out where our tectonic boundaries are.